As a check on our result, we can find the final velocity in a completely different way. Una, calculate natin yung acceleration ng box with the result by second law of motion, summation of forces. And next, gagamitin natin yung result na in the kinematic equation with the initial velocity as 0 and the displacement as 1.6 meters. Masasolve pa rin natin in a different way yung velocity na 3.12 meters per second. From the previous lecture video, we use a calculation of work to derive an expression for the kinetic energy of an object and that precise connection we derive between these quantities is known as the work energy theorem. This theorem can be stated as follows. The total work done in an object is equal to the change in its kinetic energy and from the derivation na ginawa natin, ito nga yung ating work energy theorem. Work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy, whereas yung change in kinetic energy ni is equivalent to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy, one half times mass times final velocity square minus one half times mass times initial velocity square. Yung work energy theorem says that when a force acts on an object over a distance na meron na po provide na work dun sa scenario na yun, nagbabago yung result in the speed of the object and hence a change in its energy of motion nagbabago rin yung kanyang kinetic energy so this equation work energy theorem equation is the quantitative expression for this connection na derive na natin yung work energy theorem for a force that is constant in direction and magnitude pero valid siya for any force in fact yung work energy theorem is completely general making it one of the most important and fundamental results in physics it is also very useful for problem solving. So as makikita natin sa sample problems natin in this lecture video. Example number 1. A 220 kg motorcycle is cruising at 14 meters per second. What is the total work that must be done on the motorcycle to increase its speed to 19 meters per second? From the work energy theorem, alam na natin that yung total work required to change an object's kinetic energy is yung formula na to, work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So we have work net equals 1 half mass times in final velocity square minus 1 half times the mass times the initial velocity square. Or pwede natin lagay as sub F or sub I or sub 1 or sub O, parang ganun. Given that yung mass is 220 kilograms and meron tayong initial velocity na 14 meters per second. So this is the initial velocity na. Ang final velocity natin is 19 meters per second. So gaano ro kalaki yung network or yung total work na kailangan on the motorcycle para mas mapabilis natin yung speed. From this equation ng work energy theorem, let's, let's just substitute the values. To solve for the network or the total work, 1 half times the mass, we have 220 kilograms, times the final velocity, yung required final velocity na 19 meters per second quantity square, minus 1 half times the same mass, 220 kilograms, times 14 meters per second quantity square. Work net is equal to 18,000. 150 joules. Now, if we're going to analyze this total energy or total work, again, kinetic energy is equal to the total work. Yung ganito kalaking energy ay kaya ng makapag-lift ng 90 kg person through a vertical distance about 20 meters. So, this is example number 1. Example number 2. A 4.10 kg box of books is lifted vertically from rest a distance of 1.6 meters with a constant upward applied force of 52.7 newton. Letter A, find the work done by the applied force and letter B, the work done by gravity. Letter C, the final speed of the box. For example, this is the box and ni lift siya from rest. Ibig sabihin ng from rest, yung initial velocity natin is zero. So ni lift siya hanggang dito. 
Hindi natin alam yung final velocity and siya nga yung inahanap natin sa letter C. Now, ang distance ng pagkakaangat dun sa box of books ay 1.6 meters. Makikita natin dito sa figure natin that yung direction of motion of the box is upward and yung applied force is upward, yung force of gravity naman or yung weight is of course pababa. So from here, eto yung ating weight or yung gravitational force, eto naman yung ating applied force. The reason kung bakit naiangat yung box of books. Finally, yung box is lifted from rest. Initial velocity is zero through a distance of 1.6 meters. Yung applied force is the direction of motion. So the work it does, yung work applied, letter A, work done by the applied force is positive. Whereas, yung gravity naman is opposite in direction to the motion, thus yung work na binibigay ng gravity or ng weight is negative. The total work is the sum of the work done by the applied force and work done by the gravity and the final speed of the box is found by applying the work energy theorem. Let's start with letter A. So, work done is simply equal to force times the distance. And ang gagamitin natin na force sa work done by the applied force is, of course, yung applied force, F sub A. And since vertical yung ating motion, dapat parallel dun sa displacement. Parallel naman yung force applied natin dun sa 1.6 meters na displacement natin. So, D. Ang force applied natin is equal to 52.7 newton. And ang distance, we have 1.6 meters. By calculating, ang work applied natin is equal to 84.32 joules. And this is positive kasi pataas yung ating motion, pataas din yung ating force applied. For letter B naman, work done by the gravity or by the weight. Si G na lang ito, ilagay natin dito. Ang weight natin is equal to mass times gravity. And we have the distance. So, work done by the gravity is equal to the mass na 4.10 kilograms times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square times the distance na 1.6 meters. Again, ang force natin ng weight is pababa. So, this is negative. Work done by the gravity is equal to 64.35 joules. Negative. And finally, for letter C, ang hinahanap natin is yung final speed of the box. Kaya lang, sa work energy theorem kasi natin, since ang gagamitin natin is yung work energy theorem, we have to find first the total work or yung network. pag a natin yung work done by the applied force and yung work done by the gravity. So, total work or work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Yung work net, again, is yung sum ng work done by the applied force and yung work done by the gravity. And then, i-equate natin siya sa change in kinetic energy to solve for the final speed. Network or the total work is equal to 84.32 joules. Ito yung work done by the applied force. I-add natin sa work done by the gravity, we have negative 64.35 joules. And by calculating, ang work net natin is equal to 19.97 joules. Ito yung ilalagay natin sa work energy theorem equation natin. So we have here work net equals 1 half times the mass times the final velocity square minus 1 half times the mass times the initial velocity square. Again, uh, nag-start yung book from rest. So, yung initial velocity natin is 0. Ito na lang yung ating equation. And i-derive muna natin equation to solve for the final velocity. We cross multiply. So, this is 2 times work net equals mass times the final velocity square. We divide both sides by mass. Cancel. And, kuha na natin yung square root ng magkabilang side of the equation para makancel yung square ng final velocity. So, this is cancel na. Final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times 
Work net natin is equal to 19.97 joules over the mass na 4.10 kilograms. By calculating, ang final velocity natin is now equal to 3.12 meters per second. As a check on our result, we can find the final velocity in a completely different way. Una, calculate natin yung acceleration ng box with the result by second law of motion, summation of forces. And next, gagamitin natin yung result niya in the kinematic equation with the initial velocity as 0 and the displacement as 1.6 meters. Masasolve pa rin natin in a different way yung velocity na 3.12 meters per second and in agreement with the results using the work energy theorem. So this is example number 2. Example number 3. An 85 gram arrow is fired from a bow whose string exerts an average force of 105 newton on the arrow over a distance of 75 centimeters. What is the speed of the arrow as it leaves the bow? Para mas ma-visualize natin, let's draw the problem. For example, this is the bow and ito yung original na string. So initially, yung arrow natin is nandito sa part na to. This is the arrow. And nakaganito yung string. Etong distance na to is the 75 centimeters distance. And yung string natin is merong i-exert na force na 105 newton. We are asked to find the speed of the arrow as it leaves the bow kapag nandito na siya sa position na to. Ibig sabihin, from here, ang velocity natin dito, ang speed natin dito is 0 kasi nakarespra Nakarest pa siya dyan until bitawan yung string, lilipad na yung arrow. So, this is 0. This is the initial speed, 0. Ito yung tinatanong sa atin, yung final speed. Na aalis na siya dun sa string and lilipad na siya. In this problem, gagamitan natin ulit ng work energy theorem. Work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And again, may isa na agad tayong 0, yung initial velocity. So, work net is equal to 1 half times mass times the final velocity square minus 1 half times the mass times the initial velocity square. This is 0 na agad kasi ang initial velocity natin is 0. Nag-start from rest yung arrow until bitawan siya at may ma-exert na force na 105 newton lilipad siya. Doon sa point na nakaalis siya doon sa bow, ilan yung kanyang speed? Alam natin yung mass ng arrow, we have 85 grams. Kaya lang, ay hindi natin alam is yung work net. So, to solve for the work net, simply gagamitin lang natin yung formula ng work na force times distance. Meron tayong force na 105 newton at meron tayong distance na magra-run yung force na yun, we have 75 centimeters. And, yun na yung work net natin kasi isa lang naman yung force na nag a sa arrow, which is yung force na bibigay ng string sa kanya. Work is equal to the force na what's 105 newton and we have the distance na 75 centimeters is 0.75 in meters. By calculating, ang work natin is 78.75 joules. Ito na yung ating work net na ilalagay dito to solve for the final velocity. Solving for the final velocity, we cross multiply. This is 2 times work net. And this is equal to mass times the final velocity square. We divide both sides by the mass. Cancel. And square to let na magkabilang side to cancel this square here. Final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times work net natin is 78.75 joules over the mass na 0 0.085 kilograms. By calculating... Final velocity natin is equal to 43 meters per second. So this is another application of the work energy theorem. And this time, binigay sa atin yung force and yung distance. Sinold natin yung nag-iisang work na nag-a-act dun sa arrow. So this is example number 3.